Good morning everyone, Ted Runner, DIY Detailer here. Always a fun day when you get a new gadget for your workshop. So let's see, I've uh, killed my old compressor. Uh, unfortunately, it lasted about 20 years though, which is pretty good value. I've decided to get a slightly more powerful one with a bit more air uh, capacity or storage capacity gone for a 50 litre one from SGS. Uh, so I'm going to unbox it and build it today. This is how it comes, We're boxed up. So we've gone for the 14.6 CFM 50 litre standard UK mains plug though, so I don't need to do anything daft. Okay, got our wheel. Bolt. That's fantastic. Make my life easier. I'm going to cut this side of the box out. The instructions. So these are the air filters. Uh, great, and a little foot pad and a breather plug. Um, oh, okay, quite a bit to do. So the first thing to do is add the wheels and a little support foot. Uh, and then we have um, um, connecting the breather, we've got to remove uh, the plug and connect the breather pipe to the oil hole. Okay, fair enough. Screw in the air filters. Um, plug it in. And make sure the oil level's correct. Alright, good. I want to get the wheels on, we need a 17mm socket and a spinner. And a washer. Um, either side of the frame. So you have a, um, just here you have a, a washer in the frame of the, of the compressor, then a washer, spring nut, uh, spring washer, and a nut. So let's uh, crack on. Spring washer. And nut. Now, there, are, there are two of these support feet. We have these bolts. The bolts for the support feet are 13 mil, so you need a 13 mil socket span. I've got the span. So the bolt washer and the through the frame washer and nut. Let's see if we can get this right. Here's the second one. So let's prepare it. Bolt the washer. Three. There we go. So next to these little screw in air filters. And there's little blanking plates in here you have got to pull out. Quite an easy process. You just screw in the air filter. That's done on both cylinders. It's a big twin compressor motor. So you need a cylinder on both sides. A filter on both sides. Just 
way in. Not a difficult process, not too tight. There you go, that's that one done. Come around to the other side, it's exactly the same. So this is the second cylinder. We pull out, yeah. Got a flanking plate and screw in the second air filter. There you go. Looks good. Twin outlets on this one. On off button, pressure gauge. Output pressure adjuster. Next thing is this little uh, breather plug. That goes in the top here. That was a bit hard to get out, so you supplies to pull that out. Be careful. And the breather goes down. I think it's not a screw fit, it's just uh, these two uh, gaskets, o rings, seal it in. start we've got to check um, the oil level is in line with that red dot inside the viewing window and it is so we're good so I'm going to change the fittings that come with it because I use these fittings throughout and it's not compatible so it's a 19 mil spanner on the out and then we'll fit the new coupler this is the fitting I'm going to use, uh, and it's a 20 mil uh, spanner needed uh, to, to put this in there. Don't forget, you need your PTFE tape on here as well. Bit of tape on there, do not block the orifice that your hairline, the hole, the air is going to go through. It should be enough. Let's see. If I need more. I'll know. So make sure you don't block the uh, the air hole. And you fitting in theory, screw straight in. Tight enough so it doesn't leak, not so tight that it bends or splits any of these manifolds. Nice. And these new fittings, they just uh, slot in, job done. If you want them out, you just push the collar back. Great little fittings. Got these from Machine Mart. This is my old compressor lead that I use when it all coiled up. Close. See if this fits. Should do the trick. See if my little air gun work and my um, tire inflator works now. Right, we're all done. So let's run the compressor for the first time. Filled up the 50 litres really quickly. There's a lot of welly behind the uh, <laughs> the output. I mean, compared to my old little hobby compressor, it's actually not punitively noisier than the old one. Um, bizarrely, 
Um, so yeah, decent. I've got 50 litres of air, much more welly behind it, being able to drive my air cutting and uh, uh, impact drivers, stuff like that, to work on my Impreza. Um, it's more compact than I was expecting, so that's good. Let's go and pump some air. So completely flat car tyre. Let's see uh, how quickly we get there. By no means a test of anything other than just how cool this thing is. Here we go. to 20 psi that's fast there you go done from completely flat to 32 in just a few seconds good volume of air delivery out of this thing um, and if you notice the, the uh, compressor has not kicked in again after filling up one tire from the flat so that's a bit of an advantage of having the 50 litres um, so you can work a bit more and not have to run the compressor all the time let's go and fill up the other one so this one's not as flat um, but my old compressor would have been running at least once already where are we at? that nearly is this when um, I'm using the air tools um, but so far I'm really happy with that easy to strap together decent uh, noise levels not too noisy at all for a home sort of workshop um, a lot of air delivery push that tire up real fast you saw that so yeah all in all happy I'll come back with a long-term review later so I uh, hope you enjoyed the video subscribe for more of this and more on our fabulous Impreza restoration project and we're going to use air tools to cut out all this rot, rot and hence getting a better compressor uh, but there you go hope you enjoyed the video of the STS 50 litre 14.6 CFM compressor unboxing and first setup <laughs>